This video is about voltage, and voltage is a very kind of tricky, very specific idea in physics, but I think if I give you a few pictures and a few examples, it'll make sense. Voltage is a measurement of the electrical potential energy per unit charge between two points in an electric field. It is a scalar. Voltage tells you how much energy will be added to a charge as it moves a given distance in an electric field based on the amount of charge. So that kind of makes sense so far. Potential energy in general tells you how much energy something will gain as it moves through a field, like gravitational potential energy tells you how much energy an object will gain by falling through a gravitational field. So in the same way, voltage tells you the electrical potential energy that something will gain in an electric field, but it's not just the electrical potential energy, it's the potential energy per unit of charge. The variable is capital V and the unit is also V for volts, and the equation is V is equal to work divided by the charge. So I'm going to imagine that I have these two parallel plates separated by 10 meters. And you'll remember from the video on electric fields that if you have these two parallel plates of opposite and equal magnitudes of charge, the electric field between them will be constant and it will go from the positive to the negative. I'm going to imagine here that the electric field is 10 newtons per coulomb just for this example. And again, you can see that they're separated by a distance of 10 meters. So let's try to figure out what the voltage is across those 10 meters of distance, because again, the definition says that voltage is the electrical potential energy per charge between two points. So to start off, I'm going to say that my two points are, are from the positive plate to the negative plate, the full 10 meters of distance. So to figure out the voltage, I'm going to place a charge at the very beginning of that range. I'm going to say this is positive two coulombs, and I'm going to observe how much energy it gains as it moves through the field. So to know the energy, I remember that work is equal to how much energy is going to be added, the change in energy, and work is also equal to force times distance. So if I can find the force on this charge, I can multiply it by the distance and find the work done, and then divide that by the charge to find the voltage. And I remember that the force that a field provides is equal to the charge times the field. So here that's going to be 20 newtons. So 20 newtons of force are constantly acting on this two coulomb charge. And because this is positive, it points in the direction of the field. So I'm going to allow this charge to move through the electric field, the full 10 meters, and observe what happens. Okay, so the field has applied 20 newtons of force on this object for 10 meters of distance. And because work is equal to force times distance, it's equal to 20 newtons times 10 meters, which is equal to 200 joules of energy. So the field added 200 joules of energy to this two coulomb charge. So to figure out the voltage, I just need to divide the work done by the field by the charge that it was done on. So when I calculate that, I find that the voltage is equal to 100. So that means that the voltage across those 10 meters in the field is 100 volts. That means that 100 joules will be added to the object for every coulomb of charge that it has. So here, 200 joules were added, 100 for each unit of charge. So regardless of which specific charge is experiencing the voltage, we can still say that the voltage across this 10 meters is 100. And just to prove that to you, I can do this with a different charge. This time I'll use positive 50 coulombs. And I can see if the positive 50 coulombs is pushed along the field, it's going to be pushed with 500 newtons because the field is 10 newtons per coulomb. And so as it's pushed, the amount of work done here will be equal to 5,000, 500 newtons times the 10 meters that it's pushed for. So the voltage, again, is equal to the work done over the charge. And you can see here that the voltage actually stayed constant at 100 volts. So it doesn't matter which charge we're testing in the field, the field still has this inherent property as long as we're measuring it along that specific distance. If we measured a different distance, like if we just measured this as it moved six meters within the field, that's going to have a different voltage. Because again, voltage is the change in electrical potential energy per unit charge between two points that we select. So our original two points were those two parallel plates, but now I've selected two different points, just two random points in the center of the field that are separated by six meters along the field. So when I observe how it moves in those six meters, I can see that the work done is going to be 500 newtons times six meters, which is equal to 3,000 joules. Calculating the voltage from that gets me 60 volts. So across those six meters within the field, there are 60 volts of voltage. So the amount of voltage depends on the length that you are moving through the field. 
The voltage in a field can be calculated independently of the charge experiencing it. This is because voltage is equal to work over charge, and if you have a constant field that isn't changing as you move through it, the work done by the constant field is going to be equal to the force that the field applies times the distance that it's applied for, and the force that the field applies is equal to the charge times the electric field. So that's going to be equal to the charge times the field times the distance traveled. If we plug that back into our voltage equation, we can see that the charges cancel out, and we're just left with voltage is equal to the electric field times the distance traveled in the field. The last thing to know about voltage is that it has some of the most confusing terminology in physics. There's one very specific definition of voltage that sounds very similar to another related idea, but it's actually very different. So these are the two phrases that I want you to focus on and focus on how they're different from each other. The phrase electrical potential energy is actually different from electrical potential. So if you see electrical potential energy written somewhere, it's asking for something different than electrical potential. We also call electrical potential potential difference. So electrical potential energy means the work a field can do on a charge. It's basically the amount of energy that a certain section of the field can add to a charge, and it's measured in joules. So it's just that force times that distance. Whereas the electrical potential is the work that the field can do per unit charge. So electrical potential, or potential difference between two points, is actually just another way of saying voltage, and it's measured in volts. So that's a very confusing difference. As an example, we can ask what is the electrical potential energy of the 3 coulomb charge from one side of this plate in the picture to the other, and we can also ask what is the electrical potential experienced by the charge from one side of the plate to the other. These look very similar, but they're actually very different. Electrical potential energy is asking for the work done on the charge, so to calculate that we can watch the charge move from one side to the other, and we know that the work done is going to be equal to the force times the distance, which is equal to the charge times the field times the distance, so that comes out to be 1,500 joules of work being done by the field on that particular charge. The electrical potential, on the other hand, is the work per charge. So that's going to be the voltage, which is just also equal to the electric field times the distance traveled in the field, which is equal to 500 volts. So very similar sounding questions, but because of that very slight difference in wording, has a very different meaning and answer. Just watch out for that as you're doing these problems involving voltage.